All right, man. Things got serious last night on uh, Instagram for Tory Lanez, man. And uh, pretty much he went at um, Interscope, Jimmy Iovine. I forget the old dude who also owned it with him. I thought he gave it to Dr. Dre, but I guess that was just like a fake news or a rumor. But let's talk a little bit about what Tory Lane said last night. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Appreciate the love support. Check our music entertainment video. I'm in mean, playlist for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, man, Tory Lane's the screenshot to come up. Basically said that he gonna expose Interscope um, for they, how they doing people wrong. And even Rich the Kid, the rapper, he chimed in and said that um, basically he supported what Tory Lanez was saying. I guess he an Interscope artist as well, too. And uh, Interscope really got into rap uh, when they uh, pretty much uh, signed Dr. Dre in the Chronic album. And ever since then, you know, uh, they took off. They had a partnership with Death Row. Um, and then, you know, they've been into music for a long time. But he said, Interscope Records, if y'all don't stop playing with me, I'm exposed what uh, what's really going on in the effing building, all right? Then when his fans say, chill, bro, I ain't trying to see you get killed. And Tory uh, responds like, "The diff that's the difference. I don't care. My integrity, respect, and path of life that I can show the generation after me is more important than this life that is so, is so some people are so scared to lose. I'm not going to say that on YouTube. They got, you know, policy changes now. But I am black, and I can't say it. You know, but... uh. But yeah, man, the record the, the business a dirty game, man. A lot of these groupies and fans really be thinking that these rappers be out here rich, you know what I'm saying? And they and wealthy, they be out here broke. The majority of rappers get their money from brand deals and touring, you know, with the commercials. You see the Migos, the Mountain Dew commercials partnership they got with the Pop with Popeyes. They probably make more money, you know, off of their brand deals and touring. Then they do record sales. I remember back in the day when, when Michael Jackson was fighting, I forget what record company it was, he was fighting to get like uh like like ten, twenty five cent or maybe a dollar per uh uh or it was some type of like twenty five cent per record per uh dollar on each record sale that moved. And back in the day they was giving artists pennies on dollars. So if you every every if your album excuse me sold for ten dollars, uh out of each of those ten dollars you might get two cents. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you remember T.I., he had the little rap line and say, uh, rappers out here getting pennies. If Grand Hustle sell uh, any, I'm going to get plenty. And uh, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what you got to look at, man. And they saying that a lot of fans are making the uh, correlation with his Hot 97 interview where he was out there saying his chicks uh, tape two, whatever, tape five, whatever it is. Uh, he used a lot of samples and his manager said that he invested into himself and put money to pay off those samples and Interscope didn't front the bill or the entire bill. So at the end of the day, maybe Interscope didn't pay. They have to pay the samples off to create the album uh, or they didn't pay what they promised. And now Tory Lane got to front the bill and that's why he's getting so mad. But that's the record uh, business. You got to read between the fine lines. Most people get that deal and they put a whole bunch of a bunch of uh, advance money in front of your face you take the advance money, not knowing that you got to get, you got to, they got to recoup that advance money plus interest. And now you got to hit the road and you got to get your money hitting the road and hopefully you get some brand deals. But uh, that's why Gucci Man and Young Dolph and a lot of them other rappers remain independent. If you got a hustler bone, hustler bones in your body and you got a business mind for it, you're going to make more money being in independent and you're going to be able to drop when you want to drop. I remember Schoolboy Q was complaining when he signed his major record deal that he couldn't drop mixtapes no more because the uh, label wouldn't allow him to drop mixtape when he wanted to. So that's the one thing about being independent. It's hard, but really, you don't need a major distribution no more. You know, if Gucci Man was uploading free mixtapes and just hitting the road because if you can finance the album yourself, you know, and you get it produced, engineered, and all that yourself, um, you know, and you could just set your tour dates up yourself, you can recoup that money on the road. Getting to start off getting 20 a show and then 30, and eventually, you know, the record label got to pay you what you, what you want. But... You know, a lot of people, they can't really finance their way or they don't have a business mind or a hustle or a spirit to do that. But, you know, Tory Lane trying to stand for something, usually going to social media, nothing really good come from it. I guess he tried to call him and talk to him and it didn't work out. But, um, you know, hopefully the situation work out. You know what I'm saying? He seemed, he seemed solid, dude. He be saying some real stuff, man. He had the situation where he got mad that that one rapper from Canada, Dax, dissed him. He dissed him better than everybody. 
and he ran up on him with, I don't know if he had a weapon or he had some goons in the car and made him apologize, but that's the only really thing I, I didn't like seeing from, from him, but it's music, he talented, he got bars, um, he got a new hairline, obviously, I'm saying that jokingly, but hopefully he handle his business and he's safe doing it, man. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll link article in the description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, quiet response, your video questions. Appreciate it.